Hello, I'm interviewing Carlos Lee, who is the coordinator of Deo Photonics and the director general of EPIC, the European Photonics Industry Consortium based in Brussels, Europe's capital. So, Carlos, what exactly is Deo Photonics? Deo Photonics, um, I think it's... it's um Deo Photonics, it's like an excuse, it sounds strange, uh, well, let me explain why I say it's an excuse. Deo Photonics is an opportunity to promote photonics, photonics towards the general public, uh, that people understand the word photonics. My background is in electronics and semiconductors, and when you say electronics, people know what you mean. When you say photonics, they actually haven't, not everybody has heard the word. So I thought like, well, why don't we organize something to promote the word photonics? I'm convinced ultimately people will know what it is, but maybe we can accelerate the process. So the day of photonics, it's, it's, a, it's a day where we can organize activities to promote photonics. So what sort of, give us some, some examples of what's being organized for during the day? So uh, it's everybody who wants to organize something can do something. So just a couple of examples where, we're, because we're just collecting now all the proposals, a company that uh, that is in a techno park, you know, and they have all of these neighbors, other companies around, and they say, well, we don't really know them. So why don't we invite them over to our company and tell them about photonics? I mean, we have a standard presentation, you know, so they can show that this is what is photonics and then talk about their company. We have uh, in Spain, we have a university, they're going to go with a group to visit a Gaudi. There's a special museum or something and then talk about life. We have some people who go to schools and tell the children about what is photonics. Some people are doing a teleconference <laughs> uh, as well. And one is the sales team. It's a sales team which is not 100% in the photonics field and they're going to use uh, that week. It doesn't have to be exactly on that day, but they will use that opportunity to discuss how does our company fit into photonics. And then uh, what I have been trying to promote what was harder was really to open it up to the public, you know, like uh, generally. But uh, I think if we already inform people within the company what is photonics, that's already a now's reach out of promoting what the technology is about. And where did the idea for such a day come from? Ah, well, uh, to be honest with you, uh, yeah, there is a, the, the, it came in a special way. Uh, first, I'm based in Brussels. You've got the Commission building, you know, the main, the Berlimont, which is the main building of the Commission, and you always have these flags hanging. It's the week of this and the day of that. So, so the, the, the concept of day of something already exists. But what really triggered it was is the day of the neighbors. I don't know if this hap if you know this in the UK, but at least in Belgium, you have uh, le jour du voisin. It's the day of the neighbors, and it's very simple. It's a specific day, and uh, what you do, the, you can go on a web website, you order some posters and uh, and flyers, you get that by the mail, then you go around down the street and you just, you know, just say, and we're going to meet at six o'clock on that day, you know, in the little park down the street and whoever comes brings chips and wine and you just put it there and, you know, that's it. And what I liked about that model was that, first of all, it's people organizing it. It's not a top-down, you know, whoever wants to do it can do it. It was scalable, you know, it's not the, that the prime minister or whoever the minister has to come or somebody has to come and do something, so it's really up to the people, so you can, it's scalable. And I just like the simplicity of it and, and the efficiency, because I've been to that and, and I, I know my neighbors now. So uh, that's where it came from, the day of the neighbors. So, well, why don't we have a day of photonics? <laughs> that, that's how it happened. <laughs> And why the 21st of October? Ah, well, first, I had, well, when the idea came, uh, because I joined Epic uh, uh, in uh, 2012, two years ago, uh, when I had the idea of having a day of photonics, indeed, you have to pick a day. So uh, I've been trying to use LinkedIn a lot uh, on the internet because I think it's fantastic. It's a network of people out there. Everybody, I, I believe that everybody has the answer to, to a question. You just have to make it match. So I asked the question, what would be a good day for a day of photonics? And I had a lot of proposals. I had people say, oh, that's the, the birthday or the, an invention or a Nobel Prize winner or something like that. But then they were, the, that one, uh, I'll tell you what it is. So 21st of October 1983 is when the General Assembly of Measure and Weights adopted the speed of light. And what is nice about that is that it's um, completely technology neutral. It applies to all because, you know, photonics, we cover photovoltaic, LED lighting, lasers for medical, military, industrial, optical communication. So it's all technologies and it's not linked to a country. So, you know, the day of photonics happens anywhere in the world. We want to reach out. It's an op so it's not related to a technology and, uh, and to a country. So, yeah, that's, it's the day when the speed of light was approved. So is this a one-off event? Will it take place every year? No, it's not at all a one-off event. I mean, uh, um, the idea is really to promote the word photonics, that people get to know photonics, and that I think will require some time. It's almost like a sales activity, and every salesman knows you have to knock a few times on the door before it gets in. So I'm not sure if we're going to have it every year, because uh, we ask companies to organize things, and you know, they're, they're very busy, and so it's resource intensive, although we ask them to keep it simple. But maybe, maybe every two years, we'll just see how it goes. But so for sure, every two years, man, we'll see. But it's, it's a regular, it's not a one-time event for sure. And what sort of response have you had so far? 
Well, I think it's something new, uh, so it's been uh, not so easy to communicate actually about it. You know, we ask people do something at the occasion of the of photonics and let's organize an open door. And then, they thought, oh, but you know, all these people are going to come over here. So they were overwhelmed. So I said, well, organize something simple, organize an internal staff meeting, go to an outreach to a school. I think the challenge has been um, maybe to, to communicate the concept. So I wanted really to have it very simple, you know, organize an internal staff meeting, have a family days in the company, invite the children and the families and have a, a laser drawing contest. Um, so I wanted really to keep it simple. Um, so I think that the difficulty has been to, to explain uh, to explain people, to convince them, and to make it fit into their schedule. You know, we're, companies are so busy with sales and, and, and marketing and the, the, the business and developing the technologies that these advocacy things, you have to find a way how to squeeze it in. But I'm glad we have all, more than 100 activities in 30 countries in the world, and so it's been, it's, it's very encouraging. Well, it sounds great. And for those who want to take part, where can they find more information? Oh, well, uh, we, we want it. Uh, it's, it's on the web. And that's part of that aspect of scalability. Uh, we have the logo translated in 30 languages. You go on the website of Day of Photonics. There's a, a presentation which explains a photonics application. So anybody could just download the presentation, use it internally, go to a school, show it. Show it. We have uh, posters if you organize an event. There is a map on the on the, our website where every, whoever is organizing. So it's pretty much uh, on the website available in multiple language yeah well I hope it's a great success and thanks for taking the time to talk to us today thank you very much